All right, time for tea. Little matcha, like always. Little hibiscus. Eh, I'll just use it all up. And I'm gonna do a little room temperature. And then I've already got my hot water thing. Um, this was boiling and now it's down to 152. It's important to not pour boiling water into the matcha tea because you don't want to like kill off all the good stuff in there. And now I've got a nice warm tea. Good morning. A little more sour because more hibiscus, but still delicious. Not quite warm enough. I'm going to add a little more warm in there. Cheers. Mm. There it is. Happy Saturday. Or Sunday to you. <laughs> All right, time to do a little bit of work. I got some bananas that are a little bit sad. Very ripe and they're ready because they really want to be ice cream. So they're like, freeze us, freeze us. So I have a bag here. And I'm gonna just freeze um, all the little nanners in the bag so we can have ice cream later at a later date or use it in smoothies. I'll probably keep out one or two of these bananas and just put them in the fridge because they're really good in the oatmeal. Um, yay! And here's how I deal with the peels. Um, I cannot stand the smell of bananas. I don't actually like bananas very much. So what I do, and this is what I do with all the peelings and stuff that I have usually, I have a bag here. I use these um, ones, I, I reuse these ones from the produce department, and I put all my peelings in there, the ends of romaine things, kale stalks, blah, 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 put everything in there, and then I keep it in the freezer. That way it keeps the smell out of the house, and also if you live in a humid area like in Florida, that was necessary too because we would get bugs really quickly. So I'm going to put all of the peels in here and keep them in the freezer until I'm ready to dispose of them. And I happened to find out that recently, remember you guys saw I went to Vegas Roots Community Garden recently, which is also where I hold my meetups. They have a compost pile that you can drop off trimmings and stuff there. So now, from now on, these I'm going to keep them in the freezer until um, there's a full bag or something, and I'll just take them over to Vegas Roots to drop them off. So look in your area too and see if there's a place that you can take your compost stuff because otherwise you know it just sits in a trash bag and it just rots in there when it could be just rotting outside and disappearing after a while so um, just an idea all right I'm having my favorite smoothie again the recipe for this you can get in the description today I'm well I'm adding flaxseed like always but today I'm adding some maca powder and peanut butter and I think I'm gonna add a little carob too And there's the carob. Okay, I'm having the last half of my smoothie now. So tell me if you can guess where we are. We got tamales. <laughs> He's gonna get the pizza. And I'm gonna get something new. It's a surprise. I got the hibiscus tea. And this time they didn't put too much sugar in it, so it's delicious. I think they maybe spiced it with some cloves or something. It's really yummy. And here's what I got. The masa oh, and curry. Little John Dodson, Except I forgot to ask for no cilantro, so I'm going to be picking this up for a minute. <laughs> bon appetit!